Welcome to A Bill a Minute from GovTrack, your 60-second breakdown of interesting bills in Congress. I'm Jesse Rifkin. Now, you probably know that the president takes an oath of office. Right? It occurs every four years at the inauguration. But did you know that members of the House and Senate have to take an oath of office, too? Now, this one isn't aired on national television, so it's not nearly as famous. Plus, the wording is slightly different from the presidential oath. Uh, the wording has remained unchanged since 1966 until, potentially, now. Because a new bill in Congress would amend the Congressional Oath of Office for members to pledge, quote, that I place this obligation to support and defend the Constitution above that to any individual, political party, or faction. It was introduced in the House by California Democratic Representative Anna Eshoo. So what prompted this? Well, this comes shortly after a majority of House Republicans filed a Supreme Court brief seeking the nullification of votes in four swing states which had voted for Democrat Joe Biden. And shortly after, a majority of House Republicans also voted to exclude the Biden votes in two swing states from the official Electoral College count. Both efforts ultimately failed, but supporters of this bill argued that it set a dangerous precedent uh, and Congress needs to be reminded in their oath of office to prioritize their constitution and their nation over their own political party or their, their own president. Uh, but opponents, like that majority of House Republicans, uh, say that their efforts at the Supreme Court and with the Electoral College were necessary to ensure the election results were valid and accurate. Although President Trump's own Attorney General, uh, Bill Barr, said that there was no widespread election fraud or irregularities. Uh, speaking of the oath of office, there's a San Jose, California city councilman who took his oath of office not with his hand on a Bible, but while holding a Captain America shield. That's That's real. Look, I would definitely support a bill that would require every member of Congress to do that.